Welcome to another Fly by Numbers episode. So you have just enrolled on your first type rating on a full flight level D simulator and you're wondering what to expect and more importantly, what you can do to make the whole experience successful and enjoyable. Your first type rating can be overwhelming. You normally receive loads of new documents, FCOMs, checklists, SOPs, performance handbooks, and the list goes on and on and on. None of this will make a lot of sense yet. This video is about what you can do ahead of time, so by the time your formal training starts, you have enough knowledge to start layering on this new information. First of all, let's look at three vital components. Knowledge, skill, and attitude. Let's start with the first one, knowledge. Well, it's a new type rating. It's probably rather low. Skill, probably on the low side too. Attitude, this is what this video is all about. We need bundles of good attitude to get through a type rating. In fact, of all these components, this is the most important one. A pilot with a bad attitude is a dangerous pilot. Let's look at the list. 10 things that require zero skill and see if we can use them to improve our preparation for your type rating training. Be on time. If class starts at 9 o'clock, then arriving at 9 o'clock is not on time. That's late in aviation because by the time you chock off for your lecture, it's 9.05 and that's bad on time performance. Arrive 10 minutes early and be ready. Pro tip, preferably arrive before your instructor arrives. What is something you can do ahead of time before all these books even start to make sense? Pro tip, you can learn the responses to the checklist items. You can be guaranteed that you'll have to know these by the time your simulator training starts. Why delay? Show some proactivity and learn the responses to the checklist. Work with your simulator partner. A type rating is going to require serious effort. The best place to direct that effort is with your sim partner. Review the procedures, make progress as a team. This will lead to long-term bonds and help create an enjoyable working environment from the very start. Remember, a type rating can last upwards of a month. You have to be on the same page as your simulator partner. Body language. This is easy. Those that know me will know that I'm an avid follower of Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. He says, stand up straight with your shoulders back. This suggests confidence and readiness to face the new challenge. And please, please, please dress like a pilot and not like you're about to enter a jiu-jitsu tournament. Dress like the job you want. Visualize. Use your energy to build strong visual models in your mind. Visualization enhances understanding, improves memory retention, engages multiple senses, facilitates pattern recognition and stimulates interest. Visualization is an important aspect of total preparation. Attitude, that's what this is actually all about. The small thing that makes the biggest difference. I love seeing a student help their classmates. Pro tip, the best way to know if you understand a subject is by trying to teach it to someone else. Passion, let's throw a Bukowski poem in here. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. If passion didn't bring you here, it will be hard to stay motivated over the long term. We can't teach passion. This one is all on you. Be coachable. One of the biggest things your instructor is looking for. The things you do not know are the birthplace of knowledge. Assume the person you are listening to knows something that you need to know and listen to them hard enough so that they will share it with you. Another Peterson quote. Pro tip. Keep a database of your notes and input from your instructors. This data will become invaluable over time. Use a notes app, Notion, Apple Notes, whatever you want, but keep those notes coming. Let's call it your auxiliary brain. Do extra. Leave every place better than you found it. Identify something that you can make better. Make a better document than the one you were presented with and offer it to the academy. Don't just do enough. Do more. Push yourself. Do a little bit extra. Lastly, be prepared. An important key to success is self-confidence. An important key to self-confidence is preparation. The best prep you can do for tomorrow is doing your best today. Hopefully you're enrolled at a good academy. They will direct you where to find the information. They will show you how to do all the intricate things and they will help polish those basic skills. The preparation, well, 
that's up to you. A new type rating is hard, but doing hard things is good for you. Embrace the challenge. In the end, it's worth it. After all, this is the best job in the world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and keep coming back for more Fly By Numbers episodes. You can also check out our weekly Brian Air podcast series where we climb into the latest airline and travel news from around the globe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers for now.